Yum, yum! Hello, Mukash Pazara here. Today I want to show you something a little bit different and build a reusable lighting rig with ACS3. I have a single spotlight rigged up here and it's set up with the targeting which is in turn done using direction constraint. So I can edit both the target and the light itself to change its pointing direction. I also have a few user channels uh, prepared. Let me just go back. Okay, so when I click this item and go to user channels, there are uh, channels for intensity, color, cone angle, and soft edge. And um, so I can ch ch easily change these properties without going into the light properties. And then I have a few channel handles as well. Um, so here's one for changing the light uh, intensity and then I can change the light color. So as I drag um, these uh, dots left and right, I can change the, the RGB components uh, of the light color. Now I want to turn this rig light into ACS uh, module so I can uh, drop many of the slides and create the lighting rig this way. So first I'm going to add an empty ACS rig uh, to the scene. The rig uh, comes up with a single module, empty module, so I will just change it to change its name to spot target right away. I will also change the, the rig name to light. So the, the module is empty and I need to add my rigging to this module. So I'm going to the schematic view and here on the um, on the overview of the assemblies, you can see that I've got uh, the root assembly for the entire rig. And if I enter inside, uh, here I have another assembly, which is the module that I've just created. So I need to go in there, and uh, you will see that this assembly is pretty much empty; just has this single uh, module root item in there. So I need to add my rigging contents um, to this assembly. And uh, to do that, I simply need to select the items, the root level items uh, of my rig and just drag and drop them um, under the module root. And ACS automatically adds all the items to the module. So because it just does it uh, in a kind of random way, I need to do a little bit of uh, housekeeping. So let me just do this really quickly without paying too much attention. So that takes care of adding the items, but I need to add modifiers as well. So I need to click on all the uh, yellow the, um, circles here and just uh, make sure that I pull everything in. In this case, there's just single um, direction constraint. And that's it. And the, all the contents of my rig, a light rig, are now within ACS module. Now it's time to add ACS specific um, properties. So first, I want to turn all the items that I want to animate or change um, in some way during the animation, um, I need to uh, add them as controllers to the rig. So let's start from the light itself. So first, I'm going to add the rig properties to the selected item. And you will see that when I do that, there's a new rig tab appearing um, in the item properties for the light. And this is the place for, uh, from which I can add uh, ACS uh, specific features to the item um, to actually enhance this item uh, and give it an extra context within the rig. So like I said, I need to make uh, the light to be a controller. So here I added the controller feature. And here are some of the properties. So first I need to change the animation space to dynamic. And this is because I might want to uh, parent this light to something, so it moves with something. So um, if I don't want this uh, light to always be in the same place in hierarchy, I change its space to dynamic. Then I can uh, choose what kind of content uh, from this item it gets added to the actor. So I can either add the entire item or just specific channels. So I choose channels because I just want to be precise. And then I can uh, say what kind of channels. And in this case, I want transform channels. And from transform channels, I'm really interested in just position channels. So if I apply this preset, you can see that my position X, Y, Z was changed to animated while all the other channels are set to locked. 
So I don't need to add or, uh, rotation channels because uh, orientation is controlled by the constraint. So, so that should be it. Now, if I select this light, uh, you will see that uh, you know my uh, X Y Z channels are enabled and all the other ones are locked, and also that the move tool was automatically enabled. So ICS does that for you when you select the controller; it tries to find the right uh, tool automatically. Okay, so that's I need to do the same for for the uh, for the target. So again, add rigging properties, then add the controller feature. Uh, change space again to dynamic because I might need to parent this to something else. And then again, transform channels and again, just the position is fine. So that takes care of, of my uh, transform controllers. Now, I want this item to pop a panel with the user channels that I added to it. Uh, so for this, again, I need to add rig properties. Again, make it a controller. But this time, the space can be fixed. I'm not going to animate this item itself. Again, add channels to actor, but this time choose user channels. And then, makes quickly set them all to animated. And once I do that, you will see that I have a channel set getting um, gets created with all the channels uh, added. So this is again, this is uh, another way of actually accessing these rig properties. And I can change intensity uh, from here as well or you know change the color as well let's test what we have quickly so i'm going to switch to animate context and uh, see that i have my light uh, all my controllers visible um so let's actually try to key the light and i should only get the the keyframe on the position channels so that's correct that looks correct so okay so it's all working so let's unkey to just get rid of this animation now the problem we have is that now the channel handles are not visible anymore. And that is uh, because in the animate context only controllers are, are visible uh, by default. So what we need to do is we, we need to actually select all the channel handles, add rig properties to them, and enable the decorator feature, and then choose in which context we want these items to be visible. So I'm going to choose assemble, and animate. And if I do this and go to animate, you can see that now the channel handles are visible properly. Now I'm going to do a few more tweaks. So I, I will also get my controllers, all three cons controllers, and I will also make them into decorators in the assembly context. I, I want to see them in the assemble context. So that's why I'm making them uh, decorators just in that context. In the animate, they are visible anyway, so I don't have to do that. And then the last thing I want to do is um, set up a link so I can always see, a, because right now when I only when I select the light, I can see the direction constraint link um, between the target and the light. So what I actually want to do is I want to uh, see this link all the time. So I'm going to turn off the, di uh, the direction constraint link and use ACS uh, custom link instead. So again, in the properties, I'm going to rig and I'm going to add the draw item link feature. Find its properties and then we'll draw the link to the um, spotlight target. And here I'm going to into the schematic view. We'll actually drag the color and we'll make this, the color of the link the same as the wireframe color of the light. So let's do it like this. Sorry, actually, that's a, that's a wrong channel. I should get this one. So wireframe color goes into color. So now when I have that, you can see that now the link uh, is always there and has the same color as the light. And the last tweak is I'm going to select the light and actually add it a color property and I uh, give it let's say color wireframe one by default and uh, so that's it so now the color uh, for the for the light just comes from a one uh, from the ACS uh, colors uh, palette rather than being uh, set directly um, in the display properties okay that should be it uh, I will save the module now I'll just do the quick save 
which saves under a module under its current name in the default modules uh, path. Time to assemble the lights rig. So I'm starting from a new scene, uh, just with just a sphere, no lights. And first I'm going to uh, create a new rig. I will uh, call it basic lights. And I'll start dropping my uh, spotlight. So let's get the first one. And I will change its name to key. So to change the, uh, the module name to key as that's going to be my key light. And then in the uh, animate uh, context, I'm going to give it some default position just so it's a little bit up like this. And I will apply this position to setup. So now when I go back to assemble, the light stays in the same uh, position. And I think I will also want to, um, let me actually get here, to change its uh, color to let's say yellow. Okay, so that's my key light. Now I'm going to drop another light. So drop the same module again. And this time rename it to kick. That's going, that's going to be my uh, kick light. Again, go to animate, give it default position. So at the back, a little bit up as well, and we'll change its intensity to be a little bit uh, weaker. And again, apply this position to setup. And in my uh, development mode, I will access the rig properties and again, change the color to, um, let's say, blue one. Okay, so that looks to be it. And I can save it as a new rig preset now. So just get some framing for the, uh, for the thumb and just a quick save. And that's it. Let's take a look how the rig works in practice then. So here I have a scene with the model that I want to light. And I'm gonna access the rig presets and drop my new rig into the scene. Okay, so now I can go to animate context and start adjusting the lights. So I just change uh, positions and use sliders uh, or channel handles to change intensity or a color or I can also use the um, the channel set as well. So the nice thing about this uh, is that this is this is the regular um, ACS rig now, which means you get the actor created for this, you can create actions, and you can also use poses. So let's take a look at that because I, I've prepared a few poses beforehand. So let's start with at frame zero, I'm just going to drop the default one. So here's the default lighting that I chose and I can move my timeline uh, 10 frames forward and let's say drop the blue tint one uh, and then uh, the frame 20 let's just choose the contrasty one and as you can see it's very easy now to apply different variations of the same setup and uh, you can do the say their own actions or just poses so you can blend between them so yeah that's uh, I think that uh, shows um, the idea that ACS3 is not just a set of um, fixed uh, presets, but it's actually an open system. And in, in future, you will be able to build um, all kinds of rigs uh, and uh, with the system. And uh, this way, take advantage of um, extra features such as, for example, the poses and, and actions library as uh, shown uh, here. So yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you. Yum, yum.